Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my melting review video. This is all the stuff I have to go through. I actually technically have another basket of just empties um, that, <laughs> that I've basically been accumulating since the last time I recorded one of these videos. But I am not going to um, go through everything. So I just pulled out maybe a few things that I did want to talk about because maybe there are newer vendors to me. And I wanted to be able to share with you my results or whatever. So if there's something in that other basket, I may pull out a few things. But um, this is basically everything I've been melting the past like week, week and a half or so. And this is not all empty. So like these bakery bags are not empty. But I do want to share them with you because a lot of the stuff in here is from my fall scent picks. Um, so I'm going to move this down next to me. And you guys see all my scrapbooking supplies. Sadly, this ribbon actually is like a lot used a lot for scrapbooking, at least on this side. This, these ribbons are for Christmas and birthday present wrapping stuff. So anyhow, um, okay, so I'm gonna jump in. I think I will start with, it's probably not gonna be by vendor, but I'm gonna try and go ahead and start with my empties and <clears throat> One that I'm melting actually right now in the living room is Ava's Country Cupboard Ultimate Sugar Cookie. This is the order I just received and um, she has the poured on date and these were obviously poured about a month and a half ago, almost two months ago. So I went ahead and start, started melting right away. And this one is really good. It is basically like a nice rich sugar cookie scent. Rich, creamy, sweet sugar cookie. Um, it's really, really good. The scent throw is like a nice medium to strong but I did just throw them in so they haven't even completely melted but I can already smell them and they smell really good so I've been really impressed with everything I've melted from her so far I've melted a few things um, and because I don't have this by vendor I don't know where the other one is um, I did finish one of these big value pack clamshells from Better Homes and Gardens. This is Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is a straight up like sweet vanilla cookie type scent and I love this one for blending. And it's such a very authentic scent. Like it literally smells like you have sugar cookies baking when you melt that. I love it and I love blending, blending that scent. Um, I have a few here from Tiffany Candles and I probably have more but they might be buried somewhere so sorry but these are all older for the most part I think I finished a pack of cheesecake and lemon poppy seed and I actually mixed these together and it was really really good the lemon poppy seed is a little rich and I'm not into lemon scents as much as I used to be so I wanted to mix it with something to kind of cream it out and I did that cheesecake and that was really good and I'm really trying to resist placing another order with Tiffany Candles Right now she's open, today's her last day for customs, and I really would like to get like some cheesecake for blending, but, and a few other scents, like rosemary mint, I'm almost out of, but I, I need to stop. Okay, so pink peppermint, this is one of my favorite scents from Tiffany, and one of my favorite scents for melting at night, I finished the three pack, and it's just fantastic. It's such a great blend of pink sugar and peppermint. Um, from Up the Creek Scents, I finished a four pack of Spearmint Peppermint Twist. This is actually really good. Um, I melted it in my 24 watt hot plate in my bedroom and this sucker was strong and I could smell it till the next day. And I feel like with Up the Creek, her wax is softer so I assumed you would need to melt it in a, like a lower wattage but actually I have been finding that it does really well in the 24 watt hot plates and this was really, really good. And very strong. I finished a sample. This is from BZ Tarts. It doesn't have his name, but you guys can probably tell by the label. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. Oh my gosh. I think this is actually the first time I've melted just straight up Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. And his is such a great blackberry scent. It doesn't have that perfumey note at all. I melted this in my Glade Warmer in my bathroom and it was like taking over like the rest of the apartment. It was those little donut shapes that he has. Um, this is a clamshell from Super Tarts that I finished in Happy Birthday, which is strawberry birthday cake and like marshmallow or something. Um, this is one of my favorite scents from her. It's really, really good. Oh, so, well, right now the clamshell smells like skunk. I'm sorry, these are, she doesn't use these clamshells anymore. Um, this, I don't think she does. I think she switched it since this order. Um, 
because it does smell skunky. Now the wax does not smell skunky when I'm melting it. At least I haven't had an issue with that so far. But I do have two half bam bars in this scent because I love it so much. Also from Beezy's, I finished a scent shot in Berry Creme Brulee. Um, this smells nothing like I expected it to. I expect it to be kind of like a rich, decadent, sweet berry mixed with like that creamy burnt cream. Literally, this smelled like a tart berry bubble gum. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It smells nothing like I expect it to smell. It smells good, but it smells like a berry bubble gum to me. It's tart and really sweet. And I didn't get any like creme brulee in there at all. It was good, just not what I expected. From Sugar and Spice, I finished this little scent shot in pomegranate, cinnamon, marshmallow, cider donut. Ooh, this one was good. So first of all, Sugar and Spice, completely underrated vendor. Completely underrated. Her stuff is amazing. I feel like her price is really reasonable. Um, you can get, you can do your own blending. To do your own blending, you have to do at least a three pack of scent shots, which is five, I want to say five seventy five. They come out so the scent shots are about a dollar seventy five each. So I don't remember the exact price. Maybe it's five twenty five. I don't remember, but you can do three packs, four packs, or a pound bag. Um, a one pound bag that's like a blend bag or whatever. There's no limit on how many scents you can blend and um, she has really fast turnaround time and you can melt right away. There's no cure time. I started melting right after I got this order and it stuff is the stuff is ridiculously strong that like you cannot, I do not melt a whole scent shot. Like what I'll do in my living room is melt about half because it is a bigger area but then in like, depending on the scent and what room it is, sometimes I'll melt just a quarter. And then like when I take this stuff to work, I melt like a quarter of the scent shot and it's like super, super strong. And this scent is really good because it's like a sweet fall scent. It's like sweet, fruity, and fall with that pomegranate in there. I don't know, it's really, really good. I think I copied this blend from another vendor. But Sugar and Spice, definitely highly recommended vendor. This is Candles by Victoria um, Tiffany D. This was, I think this is watermelon, honeydew and cotton candy or something. I melted the whole scent shot in a 24 watt hot plate. And this stuff is old. I don't have it dated, but this is from her, um, what do you call that? Super Bowl sale she had in 2014. So I probably received it in like February or March of last year, so it's at least a year and a half old, and it does, it still is very, very strong, so it performs very well. That scent is good. Um, I liked it. Let's see, I'm saying um too much. I think because I haven't been filming as many videos, I've been out of touch, so I need to stop. I finished from Sniff My Tarts, and you can tell this is an old bag, and it's from March of last year. Pink Sugar Vanilla Butter Fudge. This is really good, but I do think it was getting kind of old. The last tart I melted out of it just the other night, and it I wasn't getting much of the pink sugar anymore, and it just didn't smell quite right. So I feel like it is starting to get a little old. So I don't think I have much left from them, maybe a few little uh, tarts from that time period, but I think the rest of my stuff from them is newer. Okay, if you watched my fall scent picks, you're going to start seeing a lot of scents from that now. And including this one, Christmas Wish Noel. This, Christmas Wish Noel, amazing scent. I love it. It's, um, I didn't look up the scent description from her website, but basically it's like a sweet balsam mixed with like a sweet sugar cookie kind of scent. And then this I blended with Vanilla B. Noel. And if you watched that video... You probably recall that I was concerned because like the wax was eating through these bags. Now these bags, I rebag them because they were eating through the bag she sent them in. So I rebag them so I could put the label on here at the top and hopefully kind of protect it a little bit, which did work. But um, these bags got soft and they're normally not that soft. They are polypropylene. They're normally crispy, like can you see that one? It's the same, same company. But these, just the oils, like, started eating through. But this performed really, really well. It was still really strong, so I was happy about that. And it smelled fantastic. I love the scent. This is a Christmas wish you can get from other vendors. And if you just watched my candles from the Keeping Room haul, it is Christmas time that I got from Candles from Keeping Room. 
so it did really well. Apple coffee cake. This one was good. I don't remember. I actually left my warmer on. I threw it on in the morning, and I normally, what I always do is I put a fresh tart in in the morning when I'm getting ready, and then I'll smell it for a little bit, but then I turn it off and then let it, can, then turn it back on when I get home at night after work, and I left this going all day, so it melted fully while I was gone at work. It was an accident. I didn't mean to leave it going, so by the time I got home, the scent was gone, so I can't really speak about that one. Um, I am all over the place, sorry. Pumpkin waffle cone, this is really good. This was a nice, kind of spicy pumpkin bakery scent, but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed this one. I did melt this in my bathroom in my Glade warmer, um, so the spice was pretty intense, but I enjoyed it. Let's see, from Make Sense, this is a sample in Red Apple Reef. Uh, this is the ones that I'm not sure if these bags are the correct bags. This is what the sample came in and because I couldn't really smell this at all after I melted it. I got like a faint scent, but so I can't really comment too much about that one. I'm trying to see if I have other vendors like um, or more wax from the same vendors. So this is another one from Make Sense. And so I melted a few of these little pumpkins. You can see how they kind of have gotten smushed and stuff. Just They don't hold their structure really well. They form really well. But this one actually smelled really good and performed really well. It was nice and strong. Pumpkin caramel apple butter. I really like this scent. It is um, like a creamy, sweet pumpkin and baked apple scent. And there's really not a lot of spice in it at all. It's very kind of creamy and buttery. And I did enjoy it. It threw really, really well. I think I like kind of split this up. I had, I think I took like three or four of them and split them up amongst like four warmers. So my whole apartment was filled with it and it was really good. So it performed well. That is not an empty, but I was trying to do the same vendor. I don't think I have any more from, from Make Sense. I think that is it. Okay, from, see I'm gonna be jumping around again. From Avis Country Cupboard, I melted Fall Festival. I think this was in two little pumpkin shapes maybe. This was really good, really, really good. It was a good like apple cider kind of fall scent. It was apple and just other fall goodness and it threw really well. I cut up the two pumpkins and I think I split them amongst like three warmers and it just really filled up the whole living room area. And then I think I put it, I think I put it in my living room and bathroom and like hallway area and it filled up the whole area. It's really good. So I'm impressed with her stuff. From, I don't think I'm gonna do all this stuff because I have too much here. From Candles from the Keeping Room, this was a sample from last year in Spiced Cranberry. This was a very, very, very spicy cranberry. This was a cute little like baby corn shape. Um, it was good, but it was very spicy. And I wish there would have been just more cranberry to it. So I enjoyed it, but it's not a scent I would seek out. From Vintage Chic Scents, I melted two, yep, two of the Great Pumpkin. Uh, from last year, one's August, one September, and um, they were good. I basically cut, they were two leaves. I basically chopped them up and split them amongst my whole apartment. So I had it one, two, three, four, five warmers, and it was good, but it was kind of light. Like it threw, but it just wasn't real, real strong. It's a nice creamy pumpkin with just a hint of spice, but it's not very spicy at all. It's creamy and sweet, delicious pumpkin scent. I just wish it was a little stronger. So I do have more of this scent in uh, from this year. I have one more from last year in this scent and then I think I have uh, a couple, one or two more from this year that I will try to melt and hopefully it performs well. From, let's see, so that was VCS. Do I have any more? VCS, VCS. I don't think I do. I'm dropping my basket of wax stuff. Okay, from Rainbow Melts, I melted, this was a sample, it was like two little tiny snowflakes, 
in Snow Angel, and you can see these are from last year, so they're pretty much a year old. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't know the scent description other than there was like peppermint, and it was sweet, and bakery. It was like a sweet bakery peppermint. Oh, and it was freaking strong. I melted this at night in my bedroom. I just threw both in because to combine they were probably about an ounce. And it was still really strong in the morning, like really strong. I was so happy with this one, so happy. I would definitely seek that one out again. Then I also melted from Rainbow Melts um, this honey dipped pumpkin rolls and sweet honey pumpkin and fresh baked rolls. I put this in the guest room, which is, has the cream glade warmer, and it's pretty light. Um, I don't remember smelling it much. I had to get kind of close to the warmer, and I don't know if that's just because it's a lighter scent. Um, you know, it wasn't strong on pepper. I'm sorry, peppermint. It wasn't strong on the pumpkin or the spice. So with the sweet honey and the fresh baked rolls, it just might have been a lighter scent. So I just did not smell it a lot. I wish it was a little bit stronger. I also melted from Rainbow Melts pumpkin pecan waffles, jelly donut, and marshmallow. So this I melted last night and I put um, the little tarts throughout a few different warmers. And I feel like I mostly got the jelly donut. I didn't smell any of really the pumpkin pecan waffles. So I was surprised because it just seemed more of like a bright fruity kind of scent. Um, with a little bit of a bakery note behind it, but it didn't smell exactly how I expected it to. I don't know if that's because of age, because I've had it for a while, or just this particular blend. It was good, but it wasn't quite what I expected. I would have liked a little bit more of the pumpkin pecan waffles to come out. I'm trying to see if I have any more from, from who is that Rainbow Mount Snow? Okay, so Glitterati, I may have already talked about one, but from Glitterati I finished a couple of chunks. This first one is Autumn Leaves and this is from my custom order from last year, but basically what I've been doing with her chunks is just cutting it up into three or four pieces and spreading it out through different warmers. This, so, and it's been throwing great. Like, I will tell you, everything from her has been throwing like I got it yesterday. Extremely strong, um, last, very long lasting. Um, the only thing with this one, I just didn't care for the scent. It was too much of like a sharp, like tree note. It wasn't like warm woodsy, it was like sharp. And I, I left it, Basically, I didn't like dump it or anything because I could enjoy it enough, but it's not something I would seek out again. So I just didn't care for the scent, but overall the performance of it was fantastic. Then this one was amazing. This was Mac Apple Beaver Tails Glazed Donut. This was basically like a delicious Mac Apple with like bakery goodness that had a hint of spice to it. And it performed so well and I could still smell it the next morning because I, I put this in at night amongst several warmers not at like not when I went to bed at night but when I got home from work at night and it was going that night and I could still smell it in the morning when I got up oh my gosh so good this is a great blend so if you're coming up on customs and you like apple bakery goodness scents I would recommend this one this is definitely one I would get again I loved it then I melted chunks from several bags from her not all of them fall. And you may notice there's some stuff in here that weren't in my fall picks just because I did, maybe if I was in the mood for a particular scent, I would go grab it. Um, so this scent, oh, is heaven. Pumpkin souffle. It is like uber creamy, delicious pumpkin scent uh, with pumpkin spice. Not too heavy on the pumpkin spice, but I did take one chunk and I split it amongst four warmers and I think it was too much. It was like it was like overkill that it was so strong in my apartment. I let it go because I loved it, but I probably didn't need to be so generous with the wax, but it's amazing. Again, another scent I would highly recommend. And being that it's a year old, I had no issue. It was strong. Like I am just so pleasantly surprised and happy. Not surprised, but I'm so happy that her wax is like held up the song because I have so much of it from my custom order. If you guys watched, you haven't watched that custom order haul video, you should. It's ridiculous. I ordered so much wax. It was definitely the biggest wax order I've ever placed. 
Um, this is Autumn Caramel Christmas Cookies Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a fantastic scent. Uh, I just, it's, it's kind of light. So even though it threw really well, the scent overall is really light. And I remember that from when I melted it last year when I first got it. I just wish the scent was stronger and I, I don't know why. It just, it kind of fills the room with like a warm kind of baking cookie scent. There's no distinct scent. You don't get a lot of the caramel, which is good because I'm not a huge caramel fan and I don't remember the scent description for autumn caramel. But I just wish it was stronger because it, I love scents that kind of smack you in the face a little bit. Um, but it was good. I would definitely re get, repurchase this one because I liked it that much. It just, it was a good thrower, just a lighter scent, if that makes sense. And then a couple others I melted from her that were not in my fall picks, but I grabbed, this is Peppermint Vanilla Bean Noel. I melted just a little chunk this morning off of one of these. It was probably like a fifth of the chunk because I have melted this one before and it is ridiculously strong, ridiculously strong. I do wish there was more Vanilla Bean Noel in this because it is crazy, um, the intensity of the peppermint, but that's why I just shaved off a little, little piece off of the chunk and melted it in my bedroom this morning because I had a, um, a headache. And it was like, I keep my bedroom door closed because I don't like my cat to go in there. And it was seeping into this room that I'm in now, which is next door and into the bathroom. So I'd walk into these other rooms and smell it because it was just so intense, but I love it. And then this one is pomegranate watermelon spritzer pink sugar. Mm, this is delicious. I melted this like a couple weeks ago before I did my fall scent picks. Um, it's just a great sweet pomegranate and watermelon scent with a little bit of that pink sugar in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a great like summer, just kind of spring fruity scent. I really, really liked it. So Glitterati, definitely two thumbs up for me. And I think that's it for her stuff. Um, oh, I did. Okay, here's another BZ's. I didn't finish it. Strawberry cheesecake. I melted just a quarter of it. Actually, I think I have another empty of this one. Let me see. Yes. So here's one empty one. And I melted, I think, half of it at night when I went to sleep. And then I then, and I loved it so much. And then I melted, like, the next night. I put some in my living room. And I think, like, the guest room. And that's why there's just a quarter of this one missing. Because I want to put a little bit in another warmer. Okay, so first of all, this strawberry that he uses for this is the strawberry that um, I love. That VCS carries. That Candles from the Keeping Room carries. That Tiffany Candles now has. And I've heard Glitterati has it, but I don't know because the strawberry scents I have from Glitterati do not smell like it, but maybe she added it this year. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite strawberry. So if he opens again and has any strawberry scents, I'm going to get them. So I finished one and melted part of another and love it. It threw well. From Tiffany Candles, which I know I did some of hers already, but... When, if you watched, I haven't uploaded it yet, but hopefully it should be up by the time this video is up. I did my wax stash video, and I mentioned how there was a loaf that I thought it was a Christmas scent, but it was actually relaxation, so it's this one. I haven't chopped it up yet. I need to. Maybe I'll do it today. But it's from last year, and I forgot I had it. It's lavender milk with pink sugar rosemary mint. Oh my gosh, this one is heaven. So I did melt some at night. I cut, cut off, you could see the chunk in there. It's perfect. It's just I love her rosemary mint, I love her pink sugar, and with that lavender milk, it just added such a nice relaxation type scent to it. So I have this massive loaf I need to cut up and keep melting, so perform well. Tiffany's one of my favorite vendors. Also from Tiffany, I melted this, which is from last year. It's May of last year, and her chunklets. It was kind of around the time that she first came out with chunklets. Um, homespun treasures with serendipity overpour. This is old and I will show you what happens with her chunklets when they do start getting old. So you should try to use them up. They just start leaking, but this does not affect the performance at all. And this is a great scent. It's serendipity. And I feel like her serendipity is strong on the coconut with something else to it. But I kind of got oh, like, I was sick of serendipity for a long time, which is why I didn't melt this one for a while. But I've kind of gotten back into it again. Really, really good scent. Um, so I just need to kind of finish it up. But I love Tiffany. And even with her stuff that's old, I every now and then I'll get a scent that's kind of light. But for the most part, I feel like her stuff always performs really, really well. 
And then if you saw my foam melt picks, you saw this. This is as bad as it is. This is Tiffany again, but this is not her fault. This is an order that melted in the mail last summer and I rebagged, but it is just seeping oils and it's starting to eat through the bag and I need to finish this off, but it's jelly donut, fluffy marshmallow, zucchini bread. If you, you need to try this blend. This is the most delicious donut, jelly donut, sweet zucchini bread, marshmallow blend. This is like the best blend ever. And when I finish this, I think I have this and then I have a little bit left in one more bag. And I, look, it's even leaking that it's getting oils on my hand. So I probably need to put this in another bag, but it's amazing. Like I'm going to order this again from her maybe next month or in January when she opens for customs because it's the perfect amount of like sweet jelly with that fried zucchini with the sweet marshmallow with the like little bit of spice from her zucchini bread. It's so good. I love her zucchini bread too, by the way. So that looks horrible, but it actually still smells amazing. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I have anything else from Tiffany. Oh yeah, I have this. Um, I think this was in one of the samplers that I got from her strawberry raspberry guava. Delicious. It's just, I think it's a pretty standard oil that you can get from a lot of vendors, but it's really, really good. So I melted that. I think that's it from Tiffany um, so I found I have another sugar and spice lavender marshmallow fireside people were raving about the scent I do really like it and I melted in my room but then the next morning I woke up with a headache and I don't know if that was a coincidence or if it's maybe because the fireside scent melting by my bed all night like I love that I love her lavender I need to actually place an order and get some more of her lavender blends and do like lavender pink sugar and stuff but um, I feel like I can't do the marshmallow fireside at my bed. I've never melted marshmallow fireside in my room when I'm sleeping. So I may try it again and see if I wake up with a headache or not. Um, that may have just been a coincidence. But her stuff throws fantastic. I love it. And that's just a choice of where I decided to melt it. Let's see. I am melting right now in the room I'm in. Um, these two mixed together. The Wild Berry Cheesecake Perfect Corner Bakery. Oh, delicious, delicious, delicious. My Perfect Corner Bakery are all, look at, warping like this. I just checked all of them, and they're all like that. I think I got three or four of them last year. It's the only clamshell from Better Homes and Gardens that's doing this. I don't know why. So something with their corner, Perfect Corner Bakery batch from last year is warping these clamshells. No, I checked all my other clamshells not doing this. This one... It's not really soft. I think if you push them in hard enough, they're going to push in. And this one is actually probably older than this one. So something's up with that one. But these are really good together. I love mixing this wild berry cheesecake with anything else that's bakery. If I throw stuff around. Oh, and then some others. I finished this sugared lavender twist. This is, to me, basically pink sugar and lavender. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have like probably five or six more of these um, because I loved it so much I did not want to be without it. And then I also melted some of this whipped pumpkin cream, which I forgot I had. This is really good. I think I melted a while ago. Oh, this is like a creamy, creamy pumpkin with cinnamon. Mm, it's really good, but it does have that definitely that cinnamon note in it, but it is really good. Um, I'd have to melt it again to see if I think I'd want to get more, but... I don't even know if I can find that one anymore. From I Heart Wax. I'm almost done, you guys. <laughs> this is a long video. From I Heart Wax, I melted this fresh tangerine, fresh squeezed oranges, and orange dreamsicle. This is like the, one of the best like orange blends I've ever had. Just fresh, fresh, sweet orange. It was just delicious. This actually she sent me for free with my custom order that I placed the last time because she shipped my order a couple days late, which I didn't even know it was technically late. I guess she said she'd gone over her cat, which I wasn't paying attention to. So she just threw this in as a freebie and I had four like huge chunks and I chopped one up and melted it among several warmers. Great blend, great, great blend. It threw really, really well. And, oh, one more. What's this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Front porch, I laugh because this is such a good blend. Mac apple, marshmallow, birthday cake, Noel. I melted two grubbies. 
I love this blend. I love Mac Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel scents in general. Oh, so good. And I could still smell this the next morning because I put it in the evening when I got home from work. I think I cut up the two grubbies and mixed it amongst like maybe three warmers. Amazing. I would definitely get this again and I would get it in a larger bag from her. And what's good about this is it's a fresh Mac Apple, so it doesn't have to be a fall scent. I could easily melt that one any time of year. And I think that's it. I have a few other things in here, but nothing real exciting that I want to talk about. So I'm going to stop here just because this was a long video. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.